right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far obviously a lot to discuss and dive into in today's video as it seems more likely now that gildersons will be joining the moist esports roster now this is a little weird obviously because moist until yesterday was supposed to be staying in apac south and they have now decided to move over into the north american region now the reason that we think guild is moving into moist is also a little weird but obviously it seems very likely now as well given the information also we got to talk about scrim results and then also some glitches and bugs in the game that are causing some bad experiences on these scrim results as well so if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related of course like the video subscribe to the channel without further ado let's dive into this first thing i wanted to mention was an update from yesterday you guys saw the big long clip that we talked about how going off on all these pros and giving his opinion on how they you know maybe some of these guys need to be kicked off the organization and even though they're not performing well well sykes comes out obviously because he was really taking a lot of heavy fire yesterday after kind of standing up to how say how you can't be saying these things right because you got so much influence people are just going to go hate on him like crazy and i do imagine that you know rkn monsoon whatever they probably woke up to some dms i'm i'm assuming uh, just because you know one time i talked negatively about tsm i got some dms as well but anyways it's just a weird fan base anyways here we go because i'm also kind of a fan anyways sykes posted yesterday everyone saying that i'm a cringe weirdo sorry that i'm gonna keep it real with even the most clouded person in the community real friends tell each other when they're saying dumb things and i still love how and don't think anything less of him because of it some of y'all are just strange i really respect sykes for this because you know obviously he knew his reputation on the line I, obviously sykes knew he was probably going to get hate for this and also knew that like you know he was going to be painted as the bad guy because all the fans are just going to say screw sykes screw sykes so i really respect that he's not afraid to just say things even if it is to the biggest person in the community how obviously responds here i think you're a cringe weirdo but not real sometimes so obviously i mean there's no bad blood and i really like that uh you know sykes wasn't afraid to say anything despite whatever your opinion on the matter may be also noko responded to the uh, you know the whole debacle saying if you are a pro in apex you better be grinding ranked four to five hours a day then do scrims or replace ranked with vod reviewing the game sucks is not an excuse if you get paid to play or want to consider yourself a pro then act like it and put in the time before someone takes your spot obviously a lot a lot of opinions were flying around yesterday so interested to see what you guys think about it also now just editing this in thank you to genjin for tagging me this literally hot off the press just minutes ago rkn came to respond to the whole situation as well saying being called bad is whatever and it's never got to me but the rest is bs and how can suck my you know what for constantly singling me out my whole career two years of unpaid full-time job one year on a tier three org one split on the guard at three thousand dollars a month and we came top three also and made finals at our first land half the year obviously on sentinels as well the idea that i've just been paid and being a free ride while underperforming is completely false and straight bs i've barely made any money from orgs prior to sin and also i've made six figures in investments when i went full-time in apex because i love the game i've also always done everything for my teams every org i've been on was a different roster all four lands i've played were on four different teams since the start of algs keon is the only player i've ever dropped but i could air that thing out on something different on top of all of that i've offered to step down twice if my teammates wanted me to do so outside of trolling i've always avoided drama i've been crap talk my entire career no matter what i do they said bo and i were holding back Eurice. they didn't even put bo on the top 10 list i believe in him and we do well without Eurice. and then all of a sudden now the story is bo's a top three to five fragger number one fragger whatever and rkn's holding him back i pick up zen and hal says i should drop him for alberlelli because he's bad no one picks up koi but i pick him up and suddenly i'm now holding back koi and zen it will never matter who it is it'll always be the same crap for me get off of my d funny how easily my name comes out of his mouth he says but yet he's hesitant to name any of his friends and whenever he drops monsoon he says such a nice dude i love him suck my d on top of that the entire conversation he says is based off of winner's bracket uh one winner's bracket performance where i get zero kills meanwhile we came bottom 10 with 19 kills total on the team the conversation singles me out entirely when effect one of the greatest fraggers in the game dropped zero kills in the exact same fashion again suck my d so insane to see really 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 crazy drama obviously going on but obviously both sides of the perspectives have been shown interested to see what you guys think on the update of this also minus tempo posting the scrim results from last night dojo looking strong again 
already there i mean this already there might be i mean could we get a stat check already there might be the most consistent team in scrims in all of north america right now i'm not 100 percent sure anyways x set in third and then obviously in lobby b you have e8 in first sentinels in second and then rise nation in third as well which is a little weird because obviously you see dark zero didn't make their promotion into lobby a not doing good again it seems like this is the conception right you know you always have lobby a having bad results for teams like e8 or dark zero and i know dark zero is playing with the, you know their coach apparently right now but obviously you know it's a lot harder of a lobby then you go to lobby b and then like dark zero crushes it right and then the next day they go back to lobby a and it's bad results again and the same thing e8 struggling they go down to lobby a and it's a free win so it's really crazy how things just constantly keep changing but we'll see how things go also there was a lot of uh apparently a lot of situations going on with the oxygen tsm i didn't get to watch it but you know oxygen esports had posted uh once again there was another good day of scrim results for them and they were tagging tsm and all this another great day of scrims and it just seems like i'm assuming oxygen had a really good day because uh yesterday they did place in front of tsm overall so i'm assuming that's what happened also wanted to mention that there was a glitch inside of all of this because rambo had posted that inside of their scrims there was a portal bug that was happening and this was unfortunate stuff to see but it's done this to them multiple times he says where you could see i think it's because the door is closed but the portal is literally not bringing their teammates to the end of the portal now i think this has been a glitch before and i've seen this but it is still weird obviously it still needs to be fixed it should be able to go through doors 100 percent and it kind of griefed their game because obviously uh you know both of their players went down and i'm not really sure what happened afterwards but it does suck to see that bugs are still plaguing the game as ever before also wanted to mention in these scrims that you have not seen quite yet this is what was so weird to me so gilderson's name was found playing in the apex south scrims i actually saw this reddit post the day it came out i didn't cover it because i thought this is surely bait right why in the world would guild be playing on 300 ping with moist esports like it just doesn't make sense if they're playing apac south scrims like why would this even be real now if there is a chance i mean you know you see people baiting all the time and changing their names to make people report stuff and of course it's all fun and games and it's funny but i saw this and then i also saw the you know the, the satire in the in the comments yes guild, guild is moving to china to secure free land invite so i was just like okay surely this is not real you know you also seen sven uh post you know former analyst for nrg and i'm just like there's just no way this is actually real but it seems like it probably is real now that you're seeing you know moist move over to north america which we discussed in yesterday's video it really is a lot more of a possibility and seems more likely now that this is going to be the move for guild and moist esports as well this is a huge pickup from them and if they actually you know do make this change which it seems very likely now i think moist is going to immediately arise as the top one of the top five teams in north america honestly right now as it stands surpassing dark zero because i don't know what dark zero is going to do i'm really thinking today on, on this list of most likely people to join dark zero you saw maybe zane if he comes to na and then also you saw guild but now guilds might probably not going to be there and then waltzy possible because we know zero and waltzy wanted to play but now they're going to not play so it's just like who in the world is going to take dark zero spot and who is that crap guy well i do have someone in mind now this obviously would take a long shot but i do want to mention it there's been all this drama with how lately talking about koiful and talking about sentinels and how koi should obviously be somewhat enraged that maybe his teammates are not grinding as much as he is if dark zero could potentially find a buyout for koi and poach this guy dark zero would be the best team in the world there's no doubt because koi is probably the best controller player right now and even obviously verholz calling him the golden standard for controller players in the game in, as far as mechanics go so i really think that if dark zero could find a way to poach koi they would just win champs and probably win every single land it's crazy just as we wrap the video up we'll let you guys know that certified esports coach dutch unfortunately has said with the uh, removal of South American Pro League and all this stuff, ALGS year four, SAF has allowed him to explore further opportunities and he will be looking for an org and a team as a coach in either North America uh, or EMEA in year four. So it is nice as a coach, at least, you know, they don't really have to play. They don't need the ping. So they can kind of like coach from other places. I know that like a uh, black hands coach was coaching from NA, even though it was an APAC South and now the schedules are crazy, but it is still possible, of course. So sort of fight coach going to be moving on and finding a new opportunity. And then also I love these ELO ratings. So these were yesterday that madness had posted the ELO rating right now inside, inside these scrims is that obviously how is the number one player 
player he's been doing good like whenever he fills in for dojo when he fills in for other teams they just always do good right and then of course dsm has played too and they do good so how's number one madness and keon are number two and three it's crazy to think about i don't think i would have predicted this probably a month ago but now that these guys have been consistently playing well in these scrims really huge props to them and then your guarez yanya of course the lg boys are just absolutely cracked and you'd love to see that and then vax as well so already there has all three teammates in the top seven which is really really impressive interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below who is your underdog team right now that could definitely have a chance at winning a land this year that no one's talking about see you guys in the next one of course like the video subscribe to the channel and until the next time we'll see you all later gators